Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, giving all honor, giving all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah, Gorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Most High, who people ignorantly just call God. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Bahasham means in the name, and Rechah, Gorash is the Holy Spirit, Spirit Holy, literally. Translated, Racha means spirit, Quadas means holy. Double honor to the other apostles as well as the other bishops of great millstone that do rule and teach well who taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akiyam lift up the name Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, in true sincerity and with charity. This lesson is entitled Destruction is Coming Soon. And hey, sim <clears throat> simply put, America is going to be destroyed. Very soon by the Most High God. Without further ado, he's just gonna get it. Classic scripture, Jeremiah twenty-eight, and I start at verse seven. It says, "Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms." Of war and of evil and of pestilence. So the prophets are out now. Starting off with our elder apostles on down. And what? We're prophesying war, evil, and pestilence. Because that's what we're on the scene to do. The prophets are the downfall of this kingdom. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, ruled by who? Esau Edom, a.k.a. the self-proclaimed white man. Because he's nothing white about him. He's self-proclaimed white. He is Esau Edom, the red man. And what is what was his point? What's his purpose? Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So Esau Edom's blessing is a sword, and he was given power to take peace from the earth. That's his M.O. So he was given power, to, as it says, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. As it says, Job 10 and the uh, uh, last verse, this is a place with darkness. The light of this place is as darkness. So the light of this place is as darkness. And this place ought to be destroyed for all the wickedness, all the abominations. As it says in Revelation, the 13th chapter, that the rulerships, basically the rulerships of the Edomites were all based on blasphemy, right? Blaspheming the Lord. What do they do? They lie and say that they're the Lord. They say that their nation of people is the chosen. They say that the Lord looks like them. The All our patriarchs look like them. And this, that, and the third. It says he covered the faces of the judge thereof. It says in 1 Maccabees, the third chapter, that Esau, Edom, it's like that the heathen opened up, laid open a book of the law, which is the scriptures, and thought to paint their likeness. And that's what Esau has done in the Renaissance, the rebirth. He thought to paint his, he has painted his likeness, shit. But this is, um, okay. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen. It is fallen. It's, and it, it's like, and it's become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And that's the future of America. A desert with desert creatures inhabited. No people will ever inhabit America ever again. It will be a big desert. Man. You will not be able to tell, oh, this is this was Chicago. This was uh, Illinois. This was um, 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 Indiana. No, it will just be a complete, utter Gigantic desert. But what would do that? ICBM thermal nuclear missiles will hit this place and destroy America utterly. Break it into three parts, man. For the wickedness that ha ha it has committed. This is Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. It means destroy. They want to destroy America. I mean, <laughs> destroy America. They want to destroy the Israelites. They want to touch the apple of the Lord's eye, and they did that. But what? They're going to get rewarded. Double, as we're going to read in this Revelation 18. So they're going to get eradicated. 
after a very, 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 very vigorous slavery, a horrific captivity. They're going to be eradicated after it. But Psalms 137 8, O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. So is who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that reward of thee is thou hast served us. So look, you're going to get that payback, Esau. And it's going to be a very glorious, beautiful thing. But this is Revelation 18 and 3. For all the, for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of you, her fornication. So hey, you nations, you ain't safe either. You're going to slavery too. And that's what Esau, Edom has done, deceived the nations. It says, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. Excuse me. And the Lord is going to beam up his elect in them chariots, man. He's going to beam up his elect and they're not going to get caught up in the judgment to come. As it says in uh, Revelation, the 15th chapter, I believe that they're going to it's going to be like a sea of glass mingled with fire. So they're going to be looking down from the chariots, seeing the destruction to come. Praise you. How about Shemar Shai for this glorious salvation and that more, uh, glorious destruction that comes down upon this place very, very soon. And we're letting you people know, as it says in Ezekiel, the 12th chapter it's going to be in your lifetime. People talking about, yeah, I believe this is going to be destroyed and, you know, I'm going to be long gone by then and then it's going to be my children. No, it's going to be you. You're going to get caught up in this judgment. You're going to be filled for the fire. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle, battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. And if you ever look at an ancient battle movie or whatnot, you will see the, the warriors with their garments uh, girded. They got their swords, they have their shield, they have the formations, the arrows, the horsemen, you know, the elephants, and whatnot. And they'll just be confused noise, garments rolling, in blood, blood flying everywhere. Ah, war cries. But what does it say about this one? It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And the scriptures say that this heaven and this earth, which is right here, right now, Esau Edom's rulership, is reserved until fire. So these missiles are going to hit this place. These missiles are going to destroy this place. And before there's going to be all hell breaking loose for the wickedness of this place. Actually, let's get this second Ezra 15. We're going to finish Isaiah first, though. Isaiah 9 and 19. Jump it down. It says, Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts, it's the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire, for no man shall spare his brother. So it says the people... Are going to be as the fuel of this fire. You wicked niggers. And you heathen. You wicked piece of garbage heathen. Are going to get caught up in this judgment to come. But this is 2nd Ezra 15 to 5. And you're going to be uh, uh, um, fuel for the fire. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. So the Lord's going to bring plagues. What? The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what we have coming to America. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. It says, um, we're going to finish this out. It says, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works off the field. As, as we quoted, Job the 10th chapter, that the light of this place is as darkness. The w wickedness of this place hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. Every revenue that you go into to look in this society, it's nothing but wickedness going on. You look up, uh, uh, you try to go find a woman. She has a wicked mindset. You try to go, um, you know, listen to a so-called influencer in this place. His mindset is based off the reasonings of the world, not the reasonings of wisdom from Yahweh Yah Shem Yahweh Shai. That's his mindset. That's their mindset. It says they, uh, they are of the world, therefore they speak the world, roughly paraphrasing. So they don't understand Righteousness. They don't understand true judgment. Okay, this is Sirach 40 and 9. It says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamity, famine, tribulation, and a scourge. These things are created for the wicked. For their sakes came the flood. And for their sakes came the flood, which is the first death. And for their sakes, it's going to become the flood of fire. 
these flood of missiles, which is the second death that these people are going to get caught up in. Okay, this is Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her as we have read in that, uh, Psalms 137. Eat them. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. So Esau, Edom, you're going to get double. It says how much she hath glorified herself. So yeah, she glorified herself and lived deliciously. So as beautiful as this motherfucker have glorified itself and lived deliciously and had a gay old time. It says, let me see, so much torment and sorrow give her. So give her that torment, torment and sorrow for all that. Okay. And for she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. So yeah, you proud as hell. You think you got it. As it says, uh, Isaiah the 47 chapter. You prideful was all here, but the Lord is going to uh, uncover you. And he's doing it now. But the Lord ultimately is going to destroy you. And he is, is not going to meet you as a man. It says, therefore, shall her plays come in one day. The Lord is going to destroy America. Make quick work out of it. The Lord is, it's only going to take the Lord one hour to destroy this whole place. It says, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, who judge of her. So she's going to be burned with fire. These arrows are going to be shot. It says in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter. And who can return them? Hey, no one. But this is 2nd uh, Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we know that Esau, um, when he's in rulership at the end, Jacob comes next. And what is that? It says... Israel is going to be saved with an everlasting salvation, world without end, because our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to crack them clouds, destroy America. You know, get, as it says, he's going to have many crowns. He's going to fucking put these heathen in complete nervous subjection because they out here running rampant thinking they got next. Moab think he got next. Russia think he got next. Hey, like, hey, Esau ain't drop a fucking football and fumble and everybody finna go jump on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. He fumbled, fumbled. No, nah, this ain't that. The Lord already declared and ordained who was going to uh, have next. The Lord already declared and ordained how all this was going to go from the beginning. So you have nothing to do with this. <laughs> You're just going to play a role and get chained up. After you get utterly demolished in World War III. But this is 2 Nezus 4 and 26. Then answered he, me and said, the more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hates to fast to pass away. As it says, uh, uh, um, the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So if you're ruling the wickedness, what? You have an aspiration that you aspire. You're, you eventually get taken out of power. But it's good to say righteousness is immortal. And we're going to be ruling with the law, size commandments written in our inward parts. We're gonna, it's going to be impossible for the Israelites to go off. So they're going to have an eternal kingdom ordained by the Lord. It says, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. And you see unrighteousness continuously in this world. You see infirmities continuously in this world. It's not only just sickness and ailments, which that's prevalent as ever. But it's morale, uh, low morale and morale decay. That's prevalent more than ever. A man wants to sleep with a man. A woman wants to sleep with a woman. A man wants to cut his rod off. A woman wants to... Gain a rod, okay, but have titties at the same time, and that scene is cool in this place. And on top of that, a man wants to sleep with a beast, a dead body, you know. He wants to uh, um have orgies and run trains, and hey, this place is fucking disgusting. Wants to eat abominable fools, wants to eat a fucking turtle or some shit. <laughs> wants to eat a fucking... Uh, uh, um. You know, anything. These people want to eat people, you know, and they will very soon when this famine hits. And that's coming to this place. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. But second, I just four and twenty eight. But as concerning things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown. And we just were going over acts of how the evil is sown in this place. This place is sown with wickedness. It says, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. It's for an important time. Hey, but it will come. 
It says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. So this place is not turned upside down, which means uh, uh, right side up. The Lord said, I'm, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it and give it whose right it is. So the Lord is going to uh, uh, flip this right side up now because Esau says, surely you're turning the things upside down. But it says, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come to the soul with good. So we're telling you, look, you can't get the kingdom of heaven until America gets destroyed. And the Lord dang sure is going to destroy America. Whether you like it or not, whether you want it or not, it don't matter what you niggas think. What the Rock say, it don't matter what you think. Nigga, yeah, I'm going to add that to it. The Lord is going to destroy this place because this place is stoned with evil. This place is wicked. It's ruled by the wicked and whom the Lord has inclination with forever. But the righteous, they're going to get salvation. This is Job. It's the book of Job uh, 22 and 30. It says, he shall deliver the island of the innocent and is delivered by the appearance of thine hands. So, hey, Lord, where will we be of the elect? We have nothing to worry about. All you want to have to do is trust in Yahweh, <coughs> Yahweh Ba Shem Al Shai. You trust Yahweh Ba Shem Al Shai, and with that, He'll do the rest. Now to strive for the truth until death, and the Lord is going to fight for thee. It says, uh, uh, "The Lord is going to fight for you, and you should hold your peace." Our Lord already has us, man. We just got to stay down until we come up, for lack of better words. So, Lord, what is edifying? Giving all praise, giving all honor, giving all glory. To Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah, Kodash, Shalom.